Hello friends, in this video, we will learn how to find the absolute value of a number. So first of all, what is the absolute value of a number? In the number line, the distance between a number and the origin is called the absolute value of that number. So take an example, take the number minus 5, which is a negative number. The absolute value of minus 5 is the distance between 0 and minus 5. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So total 5 units. So the absolute value of minus 5 is 5. Now take another example. Take a positive number 4. So again, the absolute value of 4 is the distance between 0 and 4. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 units. So the absolute value of 4 is 4. Since the absolute value is a distance, it will never be a negative value. So the absolute value of a number is always positive. So our task is very simple. Take any number, if it is negative, make it positive. If it is positive, don't make any change, just print it as it is. Now let us see the algorithm to find the absolute value of a number. First of all, let the number be n. If n is negative, the absolute value of n is minus n. Else, the absolute value of n is n itself. Now, let us see how to implement it in C language. So, in main function, declare an integer variable n and read the number from user using scanf function and store it in n. Suppose, user entered the number 4 and it is stored in n. Now the idea is that if the number is negative, return minus n, else return n. So here check if n is less than 0, but it is not. So print absolute value of n is n itself. So it prints the message absolute value of n is 4 and the program will return 0. Now suppose user entered the number minus 5 and it will be stored in n. Now check if n is less than 0 and it is. So set n equal to minus n. So now n equal to 5. So it prints the message absolute value of n is 5. And finally the program returns 0. Now let us see how to implement it in python. First read the number to variable n using the input function. So write n equal to int of input. Suppose user entered the number 4 and it will be stored in n. Now the idea is that if the number is negative, return minus n, else return n. So here check if n is less than 0 but it is not. So print absolute value of n is n itself. So it prints the message absolute value of n is 4. Now suppose user entered the number minus 5 and it will be stored in n. Now check if n is less than 0 and it is. So set n equal to minus n. So now n equal to 5. So print absolute value of n is 5. So today we have discussed about absolute value of a number. So the absolute value of a number is the distance between origin and that number in the number line. In the next video, we will discuss about how to find the sum of natural numbers.